We have so many members of our law enforcement and our guardsmen that are putting their lives at risk to help Floridians get to a safe place. And they will not stay out stop until it's no longer safe for them. I can't thank them enough. Utilities. Our providers are actively pre-positioning resources throughout the state and in neighboring states. Priority. There will be no resource or expense spared to protect life. Our goal is to protect every person in this state's life. Stay on him. Brought to that count. Stay on him. Yo, what is up? Back with my new series of reaction videos, we are going to do the Fosh B. So I'm going to fast forward this while I uh, research this Fosh B tech tree. Right, here we go. This is the Bosch B. And this is going to be my first game in it. Let's have a look. No data yet. First game. I'm going to put a decent, decent-ish crew. Something I would put in if I did have a Bosch B. And uh, AP, APCR, yeah, looks pretty good. Let's go. Now, I've never played this... Uh, line of TDs, no interest in them. I got no idea what what the grind is like and I have no interest in that grind. But I do have interest in this tank and I wish I could get this tank uh, without the grind. Maybe when I have a lot of free XP, I could do that. Well, let's have a look at uh, what this tank does. I did enjoy that uh, FGT game, the 113, and maybe I will enjoy this one as well. So I'm going to shoot AP rounds first and see how that goes. I have no idea where I should go on this map, to be honest. Should I just camp on the K line? Or should I go to the middle? <laughs> Let me think about it. I'm going to be a passive... Yeah, I'm going to pretend I'm one of the usual TDs that I encounter when I'm playing in medium or heavy tank. The TDs that always sit at the back and snipe, I'm going to be that guy. And let's see how it goes. Straight away, there's no one going to the west side, which means I need to be doing my own spotting. And uh, I don't think uh, that's uh, very good for me. And my first impression on the mobility of the uh, Fosh, not fun at all. Alright, I've turned on, I have my binoculars, so let's turn on the binoculars and see. Let's see how well it works. That's the furthest I got, okay. got this side covered if they push I just need the spots I'd like to move forward to spot but uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be safe for me in fact I'm sure this isn't safe for me but let's punish this
I'm gonna reload. That wasn't uh, that wasn't great for me. Oh, I could have clipped out this 50-51, or I could have at least shot the last shell at him. What a waste. I need to be running away soon. But uh, if I could wait another 10 seconds, come on, you can do it. Reload fast. Come on. Just let me kill this guy and then I'll run away. I'm gonna blind shot him anyway. I'm gonna pretend he's still there. I could still stay here because uh Enemy armor is damaged. Gotcha. Oops, I got spotted. I might as well reload and uh I think I'm still safe here as long as they don't rush me. this flank if that 5a or light tank pushes me i'm gonna be ready for him okay i'm loaded i think it was that light tank that spotted me i don't know where he is okay let me see if i can help out i don't need to help out let's kill this guy super conqueror come on over I could finish him off with a good shot here. Nice. I've got two more shells. Do I reload or not? I'll reload. I want to push forward. I have the HP, but I don't want to get circle strafed by that uh, E100 LT. What do you think, guys? Should I go? Yeah, I'll go fuck it. This is the test server. Oops, I'm spotted. So he's somewhere here. Okay, he's here. Yep. Fuck it, yellow. There he is. I'm just gonna push him. He's got to peek. And I'm just gonna push straight into him. And see if I can avoid that... 5A flanking me. So I just keep driving forward. And yeah, I done pretty good there actually. Because I have 3.5k damage is, yeah, it's pretty average, I guess, for a tier 10 game. But I still have all of my HP. So that's a. Uh... Oops. I can trade with you, no problem. I got one more shell, I'm not going to reload in case I get a long shot of the RT there you go, come on, are you there, are you there? no, I can't see him he is in the low ground no shot, I need to rush to him what do you think, can I catch up to that pattern? I don't think so if I'm going in a straight line, this tank, is, this tank isn't really slow. But uh, if I was turning and shit, I don't think it's really good. In terms of like mobility. Come on, don't kill him, don't kill him. Save me one shot. Oh, yes, yes. Don't ram him. Don't ram him, please, don't ram him. Nice, I got a top gun. So well done there. So not bad for a first game, huh? 4,000 
200 damage. So that's what I like about the tier 10 tanks, like the FGT and the and this Fosh B. It's totally it's totally playable and fun and enjoyable as a uh, tier 10 tank. But the real problem, well, not problem. The real challenge in these kind of tanks isn't the tank, isn't this tank itself, but it's the uh, it's the grind leading up to the Fosh P, isn't it? Uh, all this is crap. Everything here is crap. Until you get to the tier 8, then it's okay. The Fosh is kind of bearable. But, you know, all this is basically pain. Pain in the ass. Until you get to the tier 10. And because of that reason... I'm not interested. Then why would I want to make myself suffer? Right? Well, that's my first impression. Hope you enjoyed that video. See ya. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at the... Res uh, let's have a look at the garage again. Let's have a look at the stats. Just to make sure that there was no doubt. Fosh P, one game, 100%. 1.5k average XP. That was the first game. So there you go. Thanks for watching. See you.